Okay, this is BLP part two, uh, official trainer. We're playing, still playing the game. We're going deeper in, uh, you know, in the science of sports. Uh, this is Chris Vigna at the Quebec Open. He's a middleweight. Yeah, lightweight for the Lightweight, lightweight. We'll be middleweight later on in life. Um, first, when we meet someone, because this guy's building a lot of muscle very quick, we have to figure it out if he's symmetrical. So the question is how you figure that out. It's very simple. The guy puts your feet together, you put your hand far away, and you stretch, and then you bring them equally slowly, 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 slowly together. You reach them together, and then you lower them. Lower, lower, lower. And then you look at the fingers. See, this is equal, right? If this shoulder was down or there was something that kind of brings some kind of you know, structural discomfort, we will know by the tips of the hand. So this guy is symmetrical, so we can build mass on him, won't have further uh, problems. Second thing is vision, of course, because vision is the most important thing because your eyes, are the connection, the telegraph to reality, to your own postural uh, physiology, okay? So usually what you do, you close his eyes, and then you will look at my finger two inch from the eyes. Look at my finger, look at my finger, open your eyes, close, open, close, open. You see, there's a light, there's a light declination here. Close. Oh, look. Close. Look. You see? There's a maybe 10%. Have you seen it on the camera? There's a 10% delay on the eyes. So that will probably create pain in the back. Probably middle back pain here. That pain there? Yeah. Yes. This is because his eyes is not structural. So what usually what do you do? You put, you put a draw lines in your eyes and you do rotation like this to strengthen the nerve and the vision. Because right now it's very light, but once it's gonna be 210, 220, it'll be further enhancement of pain, injury, and whatever. So you gotta strengthen it high. That's very important. The third test is Thirst test, it's called breathing expansion test. Okay. And then you breathe out and breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. We see we have at least one hinge if it's not more of rib cage expansion which is actually very very good this is very good like me at 280 i have only half inch rib expansion which means my serratus are tight so we know that his rib cage serratus are good in a good range come here go put your feet at the tip the tip of the line, okay? Close your eyes, close your eyes, and then you're gonna walk normally, just walk normally for 60 seconds. Like you come see. You see if we do the eyes test on BLT, that's not gonna be sexy. See me, I'm even worse than him. I mean I have pain here and there. And I still do the exercise, it's been a year, and it's still, I still struggle, but I actually don't do them enough. I'm kind of lazy, but when I'm dieting, I do them more, and it kind of helped me out. Uh, while you do this, I want to explain something for rotator cuff. Usually people for rotator cuff, they will do uh, external or rotation kind of physiotherapy exercise. 
but it's not optimal. The optimal way is called the meridian way, which is the three-dimensional way. Because actually, the body, the way it works, is it works in three-dimensional. So you use a cable or a wrist pole, you know, a wrist cable at your thing, and then you go like this, and this is one spiral, and this is the second spiral, and this is the third spiral. You see, because the end, the end fluctuate the rotation, it works all the capsula. It will warm up the shoulder. Those are rotator cuff exercise. They call it meridian, they call it spiral exercise. So we're looking at my friends. Okay, say, oh. So what happened to our friend? He starts here and he closes his eyes and he walks normally and he advances about one feet. Lay on the floor, on the back. What's that mean? It's because his posture force him up to advance in consciousness. So that means we have a tension somewhere in his tension in his body that force him to go forward. So we have to figure it out which one it is. So usually if it's from the hips, it will be at the central nerve here. If it's the red fan, it will be in a medium, medium range of legs. Or oh, if it's the high key band, it will be right here. But it could be three points. So we will know. Let's see the hips. What's the pain level? On 10, it would be three. Three. So three is not bad. Terrible. So let's say rec fan. Let's say four. Okay. And let's say high key band. Ah, ah, that's it. That's it. We find the pain. Okay, so the IT band is a table for, for, for the legs. So what we know is that IT band is tight. So we have to foam roll his IT band because this is a band. It's not something you can pressure point massage. They will work with a foam roller. A foam roller will take out the tension that he has in the IP bed. Thank you, that was a health checkup by a personal trainer for a bodybuilder. Thank you.